she a nympho I wanna fuck, baby, let me get your info Let me know what you wanna get yourself into Yeah, I know that you got some daddy issues How's it going, nerds? My name is Linkwood, and in the last episode of Her Lie I Tried to Believe, we ended up going through an elementary school, hating this one chick, and now we're in middle school and we still hate her, but we're beating her at everything, we feel like a badass or some shit. So now we're working on our mental to try and be hurt at that too. Something like that, I'm not really sure. Anyway, let's get right back into it. That bitch is ignoring me like that. I'll show you just how much you made me suffer. It took me a long time to better my academic results. A long time indeed. It was all but natural to me, so in the end, I had no other choice but to drop the basketball team in order to focus on my studies. The two years of middle school ended, but she was still always one step in front of me. One day to the next, she would stop teasing me or even look proud of what she's accomplished. The glimpse of darkness that I once saw in her eyes is now the only thing persisting to be see seen throughout her features. High school finally came, but luck was not on my side this time around. We no longer had any class in common. Luck? Wonder why I looked at it this way. Probably because tormenting her gave me so much satisfaction. It didn't matter though, I could still compete with her in the midterm exams and the likes. All I needed to do was to keep on studying until I felt completely satisfied with my results. My popularity had already degraded almost to the point of being called inexistent, yet there were still girls that confessed to me from time to time. Every time I would turn them down though, if I had time messing around with girls, I probably had time to study even longer than I already was. At least, that's how I tried to keep myself focused, so you understand I felt pretty stupid when I first saw her with a boy. Until then, she, she didn't seem to show any interest in the opposite sex, wonder why it changed now of all times. Sure, she was quite good looking, she had a lot more feminine, she was a lot more feminine than she was when, when she was younger, no wonder she would be popular with the boys. But with how long I've been watching her, I couldn't think of her in other other way than why now of all times. I was mad. I was disappointed. I felt humiliated. So does that mean she doesn't need to study as much as I do to beat me? Is that what she's trying to say? It's made me put even more effort in on my studies. Hmm. Blue Gatorade. There's no way it's going to end up that way. You want it to be this time. I was sure that it would crush her during our next midterms. So you could imagine my surprise when I actually did. The grades of the top 50 were displayed on a sheet of paper in the main hall of the school. Normally she would be in the top 5, but I would be in the top 10. This time around it was reversed. How could this be? I was angry. I should have been happy, but I wasn't. How could this be? This was supposed to be th this wasn't supposed to be this way. There was too large a margin between the two of us. That is impossible. I remember that right then and there. I looked around me, really pissed off. That's when our eyes met. For the first time in at least a year and a half, our eyes met with each other. And while mine were extremely close, cold, her were as passionate as ever. And if she never changed during all those years, she even smiled at me, disgustingly so. I walked in her direction, unable to keep my cool. What's wrong with you? I blurted out as if there was intimacy in our relationship when, in reality, it was the first time I spoke to her since middle school. Oh, excuse me? She said to me, trying to look clueless at the reason for my forceful approach. What a great actress she is. As if she doesn't know the real reason. The reason for me to be all worked up. Is this because of your new boyfriend? Is this jealousy I hear? You're, she's doing this on purpose. Don't fuck with me. I took a hold of her collar aggressively and looked at her directly in the eyes. I hear others talk, others around us talking as though I'm about to hit her or something. They seemed almost scared of what I might do. Yet she doesn't look scared at all. She reciprocates my stare and waits for my words. What is it with that grade, huh? Are you not taking it seriously anymore now that you have a boyfriend, is that it? My grade? So you came to talk to me just because of my grade? Her eyes became stern. The inoffensive smile she once had on her face disappeared viciously. Tell me, why is it? Why is she changing all of a sudden? This shouldn't happen. B why, you ask? I don't know, it just ended up that way, that's all. Don't give me that shit, I know you- You know what? She pushed me upon hearing my words. I lost the hold I had on her as a direct result. You know nothing, Tim. You- Whatever. You better get your act together next time or else I- Else what? A guy closed in on us and put his hand on my shoulder in a warning kind of faction. Is this guy troubling you, Cass? K I shook his hand off me and walked away without looking back. I'll show you next time who's the best between the both of us. You better prepare yourself. 
I think she said something back to me, but I didn't hear it. I was too extremely frustrated by her attitude to hear or see anything around me. People probably looked at me the wrong way, but it didn't matter to me. As if everything I've done, I'm, I was, I've been doing as no value, has no value. As if I was ever the only one seeing ourselves as rivals. But this should be okay now. By confronting her like that, I gave her a little push. That, uh, ugh, I almost threw up. That's all she needs. Her pride will come out on top in the end. I don't want to lose this. I don't want to lose her. Lose to her. I'll show her. Just you wait, Cassandra. How stupid I was. Not understanding the person I thought I hated the most was the one I needed the most. Is that what we call irony? I had studied for the past three years on a multitude of subjects, yet I was so extremely clueless to the most natural things surrounding my life. It was only at the next exam week that I finally realized the obvious flaw in my way of perceiving the world. I was so sure of myself. Oh, for that I was. There was nothing else occupying my mind during all these weeks of self-study and cram school. I'll beat her fair and square. Last time wasn't a fair fight. She had purposely neglected her studies for something as stupid as love, but now will be different. I guess it's probably because of my obsession with my studies that I had yet to notice something so important, something that I shouldn't have missed. In front of the piece of paper which numbered out the best students, I was searching frantically for a madman for something that was definitely supposed to be there. Not there, not there, not even there. What the fuck? That's impossible. She must have changed her name or something. This can't be happening. But no matter how many times I looked at it, I was forced to include the same thing over and over again. She wasn't here. She was not in the top 50. I thought that maybe, ridiculously enough, she had skipped a year somehow, even though we're in the middle of the semester, but she wasn't in the top of the third years either. How could that be? I went directly to the ones in charge of those stupid lists. They probably made a mistake, unless as they were. Useless as they were. How did I get unless? <laughs> That's where I heard something preposterous. Something so fucking ridiculous. I had no other choice but to snap back at them and insult the lots of them. They told me, this is the most serious tone there is, that she had quit school a month and a half ago. A fucking month and a half. So while I was usefully, obsessively, foolishly trying my best to surpass this girl that I thought was my equal, she was messing around probably with boys or whatever and didn't think of me as worth even trying worth the effort. She probably thought she could already have everything in life since she was so fucking good and she left me here like a fool lingering with this fucking feeling inside of my throat that she doesn't want to disappear. I didn't want to hear it. I didn't want to believe it. But it was the truth, nonetheless. I was just too fucking blind to see it coming. That was all. Fuck. That bitch. She even... She won even when I was sure I was winning. This hopeless feeling I was eager to give her was now stuck within me, unable to get rid of it. She was no longer someone I could go head to head with since she had given up entirely. I asked for the reason for her departure and they told me it was a personal matter. Probably something to do with her family or whatever. Also voice crack. But I knew it wasn't fucking bullshit. It was probably her way to get back at me. Knowing that I was finally going to beat her, she ended up quitting to make sure it never happens. But then I had a revelation. What if I decided to wait for her another year? Yeah, that'd be a great idea. I just need to purposely fail, and then... But then I realized, I just topped number two in the last academic results. I was pretty much sure of passing. This was over. I had lost the one thing that was keeping me going. For the time, I seriously wondered what I was going to do with my life now that I've lost all interest. But eventually, it didn't matter all of that much. Since I had done this good for a good part of my youth, I couldn't easily stop. So I just continued studying the best I could, with emptiness as my sole source of motivation. High school came to an end extremely quickly. The last day of school, I looked around me and saw a lot of students happily chatting together, probably feeling proud of themselves. Some had boyfriends and girlfriends to the side, their arms around them, so the world no longer had any secret to them. I was the best of my class, one of the best of the whole school. And yet, I knew nothing. I felt hollow. I was already going to the top university. I could see my future without anyone telling me. Yet I had lost something by becoming who I am. I know this. But since I'm not one of them, I don't know what it is. That is the end of chapter one, guys. Hope you have a great day, know you people, I hope you enjoyed. Ah, words coming up, no, no, we're trying to uh, do an outro. Uh, uh, roll the outro, ha! Huh? Do 
it for the love, for the love. Yes, I do. So you don't care about the money? Well, yes, it's true. And I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my destiny. All material things could mean less to me. Only thing I ever could need is a Sarah B sample with a dope ass beat. And get the mic check, check. All the levels right. And if it's good, then I'll be here for several nights. Cause the only thing I need is a strong supporting team.